In this video, we're taking a look at this Draper electric space heater. Hey, what's up guys? It's your main man, JB. And yes, I'm in the workshop. It's cold, wet and windy outside and it's starting to get a little bit chilly in here too. So it's about time I started warming my workshop up. Now the floor space of this workshop is 15 square meters. It's not a huge space, but apparently this is gonna warm it up a tree. It's fresh from Amazon. It's not even been opened yet. So we're gonna open it up. We're gonna hook it up plug it in, whatever you want to call it, stick it on, and we're going to check the thermostat and the timer to see how long it takes to warm this workshop up and get it at a more kind of working, comfortable temperature. I have got some work to do in here today, so this is going to be absolutely ideal to get this on now, just to warm it up slightly. Oh, still needed the knife. Let's need to cut it on there. There we go. Right, it's not heavy. I think it's about 2.2 kilos. No, it's 1.5 kilos, even better. Not that the weight is an issue because I'm not actually gonna be carrying it around anywhere. And there it is, look at that. It's quite a cute little thing to be honest, but this is absolutely ideal for garages, workshops, and small rooms. So in the box, yeah, we've got the instruction manual, declaration of conformity. So I'll put those in there and move the box out the way. So looking at the top here, we've got these two dials. We've got an off position on this one. You've got fan on without heat, then you've got fan on with heat, and then you've got more fan with heat, I believe. I think that's gonna be more fan as opposed to more heat. I could be wrong, but we'll check it out in a minute. And on this side, you've got your adjustable capillary thermostat. So you've got a capillary thermostat inside here, which will help regulate the temperature. You've got a little red light there to let you know that the power's on. And then also you've got these knobs on the side, which we can just undo slightly and then that allows us to tilt the unit so it doesn't actually tilt the whole way without it hitting the surface but you can have it going straight out or you could no you couldn't have it coming down any further although maybe you could turn it round if you wanted to have it pointing downwards who knows anyway let's get this plugged in and see how it goes right then so we're plugged in and we are ready to go now the first thing i've noticed on here turning this thermostat control is you can actually hear it clicking on and off although the unit isn't on yet and isn't producing any heat you can hear the the click where it's already reached temperature so this is really good and unlike other fan heaters which you just turn on and they blow air constantly this will regulate the temperature so when it reaches a certain temperature it will turn itself off so you can have it set really low and it will just keep kicking in um, and turning itself off maintaining that temperature which is absolutely perfect so we're all plugged in I'll just tighten these up so it's not moving anywhere there we go I do like that and we'll put it on fan Even if it's on fan, because I thought it wasn't going to work then, even when it's on the fan setting, you have to turn this dial past the click on the thermostat. So all this is doing right now is blowing out cold air. It's just drawing air in through the back. You've got a nice big fan there and it's just drawing it in and passing it through. It's going past the PTC element heater, and obviously that's not on at the moment, so it's not actually creating any heat, but that's okay. It's, it's not a huge amount of air blowing out. Let's get a piece of paper so we can see it flapping around. Gives you a bit of an idea. It's not a huge amount but I don't really want this on now when it's already quite cold in here. So let's turn it on to number one setting and that will turn on the heater. 
and already I can start to feel that. Now, I'm gonna turn this off for a minute because what I want to do is show you the temperature in here at the moment. I've got my thermostat just over here and as you can see at the moment in here it's 12 degrees now it was 11 and a half and it's come up to 12 i guess just from me being in here but still 12 degrees celsius is uh is quite chilly so i've got my watch here ready and i'm going to put the camera on this for a while once i've turned the heater on see how long it takes to warm up so the fan stays a consistent speed there's no adjustment on the fan speed so you've got fan, no heating, fan with a bit of heating and fan with more heating on one and two. So the, as I say, the fan actually stays the same. Now it wouldn't be fair to put the heater right here next to the thermostat. So what I'm going to do is put it over the other side of the workshop here, just so we've got a better chance of seeing how well this works. Okay, thermostat is here, it's on 12 degrees. I'm gonna turn the heater on and I'm going to put it on full temperature and on number two. Cool, that feels nice and warm already. Let's get the camera set on the thermostat. This is a 230 volt fan heater. You can have it on 2000 watts, 1000 watts or 20 watts. So that's basically your fan, your fan with heat and your fan with double the heat. It's producing 6,800 British thermal units, which is more than enough to heat this size space. And it'll blow enough air to cover 127 cubic meters per hour. It's got a high efficiency PTC element two heat settings plus fan and adjustable capillary thermostat. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm not sure about this thermostat. It's not working very well as a thermometer. Uh, it is a room thermostat, which obviously tells you the temperature of the room. It has just gone up to 15 degrees and it was, this has been on for 25 minutes on max heat. And I'll tell you what, the temperature in here now is so much better. Um, it really is comfortable. Now, I think that will slowly heat up. I'm not quite sure why that's taking so long. And I'm not just taking this off for the video. It really is feeling a whole lot warmer in here now, which is absolutely perfect. And this is not feeling too hot. There's, Usually with these kind of things, it, it gets really, really hot and sometimes red hot, but actually that isn't too bad at all. Well, I can put my hand on here and I've literally turned it off. Just checking the temperature there again. It still says 15. There's no way it's 15 in here. Anyway, guys, don't cover the back. You need to have the fan drawing in air. Don't put anything over the front. It's a fixed, sealed, 240 volt plug. So plug and play if you like, there's no assembly and that's about it really. I'm gonna leave a link to this product in the description box down below so you can go and check it out <laughs> if you want to. I'm really happy with it and it's a perfect little heater for any workshop or garage. Fantastic guys, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I'll see you next time.